Hello YouTube, this is a quick demo of the Swift Press vacuum former. I have a Glock 17 and a Glock 43 mold already on the tray. They are squares of breather mesh cut and placed under the molds. And I've got a piece of wood in between them to space them out so I have room for the plastic to get down in between those two trigger guards. Plastic's heating up in the heat press right now. I have already adjusted the frame size to fit around the molds. So as soon as the plastic is hot enough, we're gonna pull it out, drop it on the molds, drop the frame on, and then start cooling the plastic. So the Swift Press uses direct plumbing. There's no surge tank, there's no ball valves or anything. It's plumbed directly to the pump. So once I get close to running down on the timer, I'm gonna switch the pump on so it's running when I lay my plastic down. Then as soon as I drop the frame into place, the seal forms and the plastic is drawn down. I usually do most of my cooling with compressed air, at least to get the plastic cool enough to not, uh, not flex much. And then it gets flipped off the table onto a cooling station down here on the floor where I use a high volume air blower to finish bringing it back down to room temperature and that frees up the swift press deck to be working on the next thing. So uh, there's a bunch of these out there, a number of holster makers are already using them but I often get questions about how to use it and I keep putting off and putting off doing a video on it so today it was finally going to get done. And we got about 25 seconds left for this to, to come out of the heater. Uh, the molds do have vacuum pass through drilled in them. You can see there are holes in the underside of the mold to allow air to pass through on all the contours and not get trapped there on top of the mold. All right, here we go. As soon as the vacuum is formed, I can let go of the frame and begin cooling it. And now it's cool enough to take off the deck and put down to the cooling station. So I usually just take the plastic off with the mold still in it and set it down below to cool.